export job files using Fab 3000. First, import a single design into Fab 3000. You can use Gerber, Drill, ODB++, essentially any format that's PCB related. Next, we'll want to make sure that all the layer types are defined. Uh, all layer types should have some type of definition, uh, especially when working with Gerber, you may need to do this manually. Other formats have that embedded already. You can also just right click and select the format directly on the Fab 3000 screen. Next, we'll want to go ahead and detect the border. We have an automatic feature in Fab 3000 to detect the border. However, if that doesn't work, you can use the selective method. This is an optional step to assign the origin. It's usually easier to have the origin at the bottom left of the design, but again, this is not necessary. And lastly, we'll go ahead and synchronize the layer names to give a nice consistent name for each layer type, which does simplify the jobs in the future because you'll know exactly which layer name references which layer type. All right, let's go ahead now and export the job file. And this will be an individual file that can be saved directly in your folder. We actually recommend that you save it to a specific folder where you may have these files archived for later use. You'll see the existence of the job file with a .job extension. Now we're going to go ahead and perform these exact same steps, however, on just another design, just to show you the nature of pretty much the steps that are required for each design to archive and correctly save job files. Now again, there are other steps you can perform that are not covered in this tutorial, such as creating the route paths with tabs, adding board fiducials, and other steps that may or may not be required for your particular situation. At this point, we're going to go ahead and save this second job as board for test and place it in the same folder as the original job we created. Now we're going to go ahead and show in a different case the advantage of having job files by loading various job files into our design and then creating a panel. You can select unlimited job files here, so it's not something you have to do one at a time. You can select multiple job files. Now we're ready to go to the panel wizard and let's create a panel. If you already have a panel set up saved, you can use that also, which we'll do here. Now we'll use the panel wizard to set up the jobs. First thing you want to do is have the minimum count of each particular job that you wish to have in the panel and the surplus is used to fill the extra space. For job spacing, if you're using routes, you want to have that match the width of the route tool. As you'll see here, you can select and all the job files have now been merged and optimized into a panel. We use a finished panel to finalize the panel, such as adding venting, fiducials, and the other essential features. And that's it. Pretty much you're ready now to export your design. I uh, sorry, your completed panel out to ODB++, Gerber, or any other format that you deem necessary for manufacturing. You can download your free trial. Visit fab3000.com. Thank you very much.